Hi Libras, welcome to my channel Answers by Divine. So this is going to be for your love reading for the month of September 2018 for Libras. Uh, this, will, this version will be using the tarot cards. So I will be doing another version which is using uh, the pink crystal ball. Okay, so this is the other version will just purely be messages from the ball, from the crystal ball. Uh, this so this will be a tarot, a tarot card reading. So for the sign of uh, Libra, oh, shucks, I forgot to mention in the Scorpio reading. Or right, anyway, so you could uh, refer to also your fifth house and your seventh house sign. So let's say your fifth house is in Gemini, your seventh house is in Leo. Okay? So you could also cross watch uh, to get different messages or to get more uh, comprehensive messages for yourself. So otherwise, for now, this is going to be for you, uh, Libras, Libras, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, fifth house or seventh house. Okay. So let's see what do we have for Libras love reading for the month of September. This is recorded on the twenty eighth of August, uh, which is a Tuesday. Tuesday. One last shuffle and then we will proceed to see what is the love life, love reading looking like for the sign of Libras. September 2018 love reading, okay? I see someone giving up over here, giving up on the relationship, giving up on the partner okay singles and this is gonna be for both singles and couples so the energy is the same but uh, it's just that the event uh, might not be the same okay so for those of you who are single you might have someone in your mind for a while and then it's like uh, maybe due to due to some something that happened you just decided to give up give up and walk away for those of you who are in a who are couple couples, um, yes, walking away, walking away is also coming out very strongly for you. Giving up on this relationship, uh, and then going either going for other options that you have existingly or looking out, okay, or looking out singles and couples. The energy is the same. I see you, Libras. Uh, no longer feel for this relationship like this whatever happens whatever your partner or uh, whoever your love interest is or those of for those of you who are single I see you not interested anymore singles not interested in your love life anymore so it's like you know it could be for you singles uh, this time this time round you find yourself not interested in 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 dating in love anymore it's like if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, uh, then that's fine. You know, it's a very open-hearted energy for you singles. For couples, I see you getting used, okay? Which is pretty sad, pretty sad in a, in a situation like that. It's like, what is new? Anything new? No. Same old shit. I just mentioned the same thing for Scorpio as well. Same shit, different smell. Eh? No. Same smell but different shit. Same smell but different shit. So there's always pile of shit coming from someone else. Different different shit, but they all smell the same. They are st they, st they still smell like shit to you. So I see you getting used, getting used, okay, getting used to them, okay. So walking away, looking up or exploring going back to going back and contact uh you know someone else who tried to be with you or someone else whom you used to know at um okay access or not doesn't matter but you know some other existing contacts that you have on your phone you'll be scrolling on your phone and then looking like you know who else can i be uh catching up with and then see where it goes okay all all because all because you are in a comfort zone right now okay comfort zone you have looked past all that shit that smells the same okay
somehow Libras, I don't know why, I do not know why, um, okay, so this might be you, I mean this might be how it, it is looking like, so as the interest level depletes, all right, as the interest, as your interest in your own love life depletes, singles or couples, that means you are no longer interested in dating for uh, for now. Or those of you who are couples, it's like your interest is no longer as strong as before, uh, as before towards this relationship or towards this person. So as your interest depletes, I see you um, becoming estranged with your partner. Okay, for those of you who are couples, you, I see you becoming estranged with your partner. That means you're not truthful. You, you're not saying what your heart really feels. You don't have to... You find no... There's no point or no meaning to telling them exactly uh, everything about you. Could be anything about your life. So even if you have a bad, you have a bad day out uh, today, you'll be like saying, Oh yeah, it's fine. It's great. Nothing much. But because you just don't see... You just don't feel there's any point in telling them in sharing your life with them in telling them more than necessary because at this time coming coming to now the relationship um it's like by now what is left for the both of you is this does it still make any sense or it is or you know what is the point in in sharing with them your life okay so there's this um there's this avoiding avoiding hiding away sometimes uh not being true uh not not speaking your mind um not speaking your mind um I, I hate to say this, but because this is due to this seven of swords, okay, seven of swords. So this is what I meant by you uh, not seeing the need to tell them everything, to tell them everything. Or even for those of you who are single, whom, you know, as you start dating, you don't really put out, share a lot about yourself because you are not so interested at the moment. It's just really hanging out, having a, having a dinner, dinner date. That's pretty much it. But do you really have interest to secure someone for yourself? That's the question over here. Okay. And to add on, to add on, I see some of you feeling feeling like and I see some of you are a lot better off being alone. Okay? You feel you you're a lot of, a lot better being alone. And you see yourself this energy in this coming time in this coming month of September, you see yourself uh just wasted wasted um, meaning to say okay not so serious like mm, not so serious wasted but I see yourself just just um, just living living on bubbles living on bubbles meaning to say you have no mind your mind is not with you uh, you have no mind no thoughts about your life I'm saying I'm and, and I'm saying your life it's like la 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 like every other day what are you doing you're just busying busying with your day day in day out going to work uh, um, meeting friends and then ending your day back to back home resting sleeping and then repeating the whole cycle all over again going to work and then maybe the next day uh, nothing much just rest at home like really uh, soulless soulless okay nothing much is done in this month of September at least you feel not like you feel not saying that I'm not saying that you feel tired you feel worn out no but I just don't see you doing anything maybe this is a rest time this is a break time for you okay or otherwise until you have a clearer mind about yourself like what do you really want for yourself what do you really want in a partner what do you really what is your own definition of being in love in a relationship in a marriage 
until then, when you have got the definition for yourself, then that's the time where you moved on. But before, until then, until then, before then, I see you just living day by day. Some of you may find a um, new interest, may have someone expressing, expressing their interest in you, uh, expressing, confessing their love for you, their interest for you, um, singles or couples, okay, there will be, there will be someone uh, offering love to you, okay, I feel like they are very different people, very different situations, so this is a separate, some, uh, separate, uh, a very separate, um, uh, vibe, a very different vibe, so there's this other additional person, who's not you, not your partner, someone else, is offering love, to, towards you okay and this person is very sincere this person might be might be uh, pursuing you for the longest time even though you might be in a relationship you might be attached uh, you might be married but there's this someone who loves you all along all the time okay they have never they have never forgot about you before they have never um, it's like, you know, you're married, you have someone else, but they are still waiting for you despite knowing that you've got someone else. Okay? And they might be water sign. They come very strongly as someone who's very fluid. Uh, or at least um, their emotions, their actions, their behavior is uh, very much like a water sign. Very emotional, very, um, very uh, loving very loyal okay very loyal very romantic very romantic person over here okay or otherwise just in their in their chart they might be heavy on uh water water energy okay so let's see what is the outcome over here for Libras. potentially what's the outcome looking like for you okay so this is just potential outcome if you continue or if you do what you do but if you don't want this outcome that's in this card reading feel free feel free to 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 um feel free to manifest your own preferred outcome okay one last shuffle all right what's the outcome for libra for their love life in september Libras, for you, your outcome, like any, like most other signs, is no outcome. The outcome is that you will focus less on this relationship, on or, or on your love life. Okay, you'll focus a lot lesser on your love life, or not focusing on your love life in this month, in this coming month. Okay, but yet I don't see you doing anything. This is like a repetition of whatever I've just said earlier on. Okay, it's a repetition. You stay put, stand still. Everything is status quo. Okay, but I see you going out and um, having your own life, living a life, living a life for yourself, but not love life. Okay, going out, chilling out, having a drink, going to the bar, uh, catching up with friends, going for dinner. You still have a life. Okay, you still have a life. And probably focusing on your own career, on your own finances, on your own money, uh, on your own assets. I, I see and I feel like a house, like a new Maybe some kind of asset, you're purchasing some some new assets, car, house, um, or you know, just working on your own finances, on your own finance, financial status. Be it you buying something or be it you work um uh, planning, planning your financial uh, finances. Okay. Um Libra, this is very short. Like your reading is only 14 minutes. What do I do now? It is what it is. If this is not the messages for you, you could always uh give it uh, give it a try uh, for the crystal ball rating there's no card in there just really what I could see from the crystal ball okay let me see anything else uh, otherwise if a personal reading is needed feel free they could be found in the description box below 
I oh to add on Libras to add on I see you avoiding someone for the for this other person if it resonates for you for someone who has been loving you all along someone who's been waiting for you all along even despite you having someone else in a relationship I see you avoiding them I see you avoiding them but because they know that you they know about your current situation right now for those of you who are a couple uh, they know that you are you are not um, you're falling out with your partner or for those of you who are single um, they know that you are still single you still haven't have got someone else for yourself but I still I see you Libra avoiding avoiding this this person who's been loving you long time okay or some of you for whomever for those couples couples for whomever, who, whoever that you are with I see that Right from the start, interest, the interest, the love for this person has been all time low. I don't even know why did you start, why did you start off this relationship with this person? Okay, it's like maybe you just needed someone, you just needed someone, uh, marry for the sake of marrying, date for the sake of dating, okay? The interest wasn't that strong from the beginning. Mainly because you might be looking out for uh, more option, moving away from the past, looking for a rebound, looking for a rebound relationship. Okay, just because you ended uh, uh, the previous the previous relationship, and then now you find yourself ending up with this someone new, someone new whom you don't really have interest, strong interest to begin with to start off with. Okay. And it looks like the key here is that you are actually a lot a lot better off alone okay so anyway the outcome over here just to reiterate reiterate is that I see yourself outcome for this whole of the month what is looking like for you is that you no longer want to give you no longer trust uh, you are going on less dates you're keeping giving your taking time to yourself uh, working on yourself healing yourself sometimes living a life you know going out with friends more more with friends than dates opposite sex and focusing on your work or you know finding new interests finding new passion doing something that you like okay so libras this is what i have for you uh really pretty much all i can save using the cross so till then i will see you bye bye